Have you ever started a YouTube series because you were trying to be positive in one of the worst years in recent history? And then after that, each year kept getting worse and worse until you reached year four of one of the worst years in all of humanity? Well, here we are. It's the year 2020, and these are the influences of my year 2020. So usually I try to structure these out and have the people that I have in mind, but this is the year 2020 and I kind of don't care. This year is chaotic, everything is just crazy, and I just want to go with the flow because what the hell? Everything is chaotic, this video might as well be chaotic just one of the things that represents this year as a whole. So who knows how long this will be? Who knows how long I will talk? Hell, I don't, especially. But here we are at the end of the year 2020. My birthday has passed. I am 26 officially. And a lot has happened this year. Uh, you probably, you all know it. We don't I don't need to say unprecedented times in this new normal or whatever it is that people say. And we're all tired of hearing it. And so since we're all tired of hearing all of those phrases, let's just, just go on. Cause that's all we can do. Things have happened, it was crap, and we wish it was different. I am in America, by the way, so if you're in one of the countries that did better with this pandemic, I am so happy for you. But here we are. Hopefully the vaccine will be spread out and hopefully we can heal. And that's all I really have is some kind of hope because I, don't have much to offer and I am trying to struggle on my own, find new things to do and just make it by as I grow older and have to take on more responsibility. This year really puts I think a lot of things in perspective because this is the year you really find out who you are closest to by who checks up on you. Because if they're thinking about you, they'll message you, they'll text you. Like no matter how long it is, those people still cared enough to think about you and contact you when they couldn't come and physically see you. And that's not to say there aren't people who care about you who have contacted you. It's just that there is a closeness that you get to people that even when you can't see them physically, that they'll still reach out and talk to you. And I have definitely found my group of people throughout this year. When I started the series, what I originally wanted to do was talk about the new things that happened during that year. And so those were the most meaningful influences of my life. But what I've come to learn with especially this past year and even with last year, that a lot of the stuff that are the main influences of my life are the people that have sticked around for the longest, the people that I've known for so long. And with this year when I couldn't see anybody or when I had to stay at home, I still found so much to do throughout this year. A lot of major influences in my life have been things that come from the internet or the online community. And so since I had that in advance, it helped me be a lot happier this year when everything is gone and all I had was my computer and the internet. And with all of that, I've made friends and people who I've connected to who are all around the world. And it's been such an amazing experience and something that I'm so grateful to have because Without it, I really do not know how I would have coped with all of this tragedy. To have something so small but yet so meaningful and powerful in my life. One of the main things is I've been watching Twitch a lot lately and I 
can't say there's a specific streamer or creator that I like, but just that platform, since I got better internet, I've been watching a lot more, and I've gotten to understand that community a lot better. And I'm not active in it. But I would say watching the streamers and those who are continuously making online content on YouTube or Twitch or just any platform that they have has been an amazing experience. Because those things have just filled in the gaps that have been with this year. Because I've probably gone to more events than I have when I could go out to do. Because it's all right here and compacted just sitting here in my lap and then I can enjoy people playing games, people performing live shows and concerts and singing and I just find it so amazing. So not even just Twitch but just streaming in general and the people and the online creators who are continuously putting and creating stuff out there has just, just been amazing to see and how people do what they can to use that for good. And speaking of streaming, one of the main things is games and video games. And for the first time, I have actually played video games. And so I'm still a total newbie, especially with the games and the consoles. I still know nothing of that. And that's one thing that fascinates me with streaming is that it's making me learn and understand how these games work because when I say I didn't grow up with games, I mean I really did not grow up with games unless I went to my cousin's house. Now I have a Nintendo Switch Lite and now I have a Nintendo account. I play Animal Crossing which is the basic level of gaming possible. But playing that has helped me understand gaming and just having such the basic levels that a newbie like me can get more into it has led me to play other games and so it's just been a great experience to play Nintendo and now that I have other stuff on my Switch and it's been a great thing and that even led me to uh, getting a Steam account and then purchasing games on there and of course the biggest game right now is Among Us. I've actually played uh, among Us and I've gotten so addicted to it and watching streams and then watching videos of streamers <laughs> and then I actually got the game and played it and so now I have that game and it's just been such a fun time and that's one way that I've connected with people and I don't know everybody in the Discord, and so if anybody in the Discord sees this, I do love you, but I do not know everybody to start naming names. But my friend Laws, that is the one name that I will say, had introduced me to a whole lot of people, and we all bonded over Danville because a whole bunch of us fannies wanted to play together and it's just been one of the ways that we have connected throughout this even though I've never met some of these people before even though they live across the world we have all come together to play this game and understand each other and just have a fun time and recently like I said my birthday just passed I actually asked them to play a game with me for my birthday so that was one of my birthday things that I got to do was play Among Us with a group of people while being safe and socially distant. so that just made my night and made me happy and I thank you and love everybody in the Discord and the Among Us Discord who has made my year, you made my birthday, and I thank you for it. You were such a positive influence in my life. And it's just been so crazy. And I don't know how I would have been so happy if I had not had you all there to make it so much better. Speaking of fandom people, the main influence of my life has been what I call my streaming group. We really need a name. Like we've been calling it Caracol Time. Is it Caracol or Crackle? Cause 
Our leader says Caracol, but I've always called it crack, but apparently it's Caracol. Um, but I've been calling it my streaming group, and they have been, of course, the main influence of my life. It started with one dream back in March, and it was called Fanny Fun Time, until we kind of just dropped the Fanny part, since we're not just doing Dan and Phil stuff anymore. And we just became a group of friends having fun and streaming. And for a long time, I couldn't join every single day because I did not have good internet. But then I upgraded my internet because this year taught me that I surely needed very good internet for certain stuff that I wanted to do. But after I started joining every day, it has just been such a great time because we really have been through a lot together and I know it kind of sounds kind of crazy to say you've been through a lot with people you've just been chatting with online but we really have throughout this pandemic throughout this year especially for me because a lot of tragedy happened especially in the month of June with the Black Lives Matter and especially it being Pride Month. Just having those people there that I could talk and chat with while a lot of horrible things happened in the world. The major people who had died this year, like Ruth Bader Ginsburg, as soon as we all heard we told each other and we started chatting and sometimes and it was longer than we normally stayed and we just all kind of felt that collective pain and not everybody was there but there were people who came before I even got there who couldn't stay and there are people who came along afterwards who have just been there whenever they can be because they enjoy all the time that we spend together. My streaming friends, or my streaming group, my friends, they definitely have been there throughout all of that. Been good to have somebody to talk to who understands you, understands where you're coming from, to feel that shared pain so you don't have to bear it alone, essentially. It has been so crucial with this streaming group and we've had so much fun together we've cried together and just even if it's just chatting and we can't hear each other and we haven't even heard certain people's voices we've watched several anime by now we're reading a book our, our leader i keep calling him our leader because that's who he is and that is <laughs> and that is the best way I could call him out. Our leader, uh, who started all of this way back in March, to have a space for us to just be happy together and just spend time. I, I am so grateful that he started it all the way back in March. They used to do yoga and couldn't do it anymore. People streamed online and on Twitch. I remember following people on Twitch and then playing Jackbox games and just having that great time. Even though it was so long ago and even though I only did it once. It's a memory that I share with other people and a memory I treasure. All those memories that I treasure and all those shows that we watched together, we've cried with, been happy through, just having that collective feeling has been so important this year. People have been there the longest that I have to absolutely thank, especially our leader, which is Reese, aka Smartinis, and lost, damn it, I did not think that I was going to cry, lost. Plato True got me into Among Us Discord. In end. You three have been such such special people throughout this whole year. 
<laughs> and I just smile every time I think about y'all. And then Mad, who oftentimes I don't always see chat and don't oftentimes get to talk to to a lot because Mad has to go to sleep because so many people are all over the world and we try to have at least a time that's reasonable for everybody but Matt has to go to sleep and then Huli who came later on who's just and it's just been a great time and even and everybody like I said everybody from Discord we've they've all come over to watch more anime we watched Yuri on Ice together and even those moments where people could just come and visit People like Nav who have been reading a, a whole story that I have not even joined yet because I'm not ready to feel that emotion because I feel like more emotion. I can only deal with so much at a certain time and Reese has got us reading <laughs> the light novel for Ascendance of a Bookworm when we watch that anime and we're all so invested in it. We've basically grown with these people in the story and like I said this video is so sporadic and chaotic but so has this year been and I just want to ramble and talk about these people who I love and it really is genuine love having people there who follow me now on these videos it's always been hard kind of for me to make friends and not necessarily make friends but keep them for a long period of time and to think about how some of these people that I've known for multiple years like Reese and Laws who I met basically when I started in the fandom four years ago whose lives changed throughout these years and it's been crazy to say that I've known them for so long but even then I've only really became closer and more loving to them and I've always wanted to just become with friends especially friends with people online and just stay friends with certain people but it's always been hard because people have lives people have jobs and I don't want to give the pandemic any credit because it sucks this sucks. This shouldn't have happened. This shouldn't have gotten this bad. But at least throughout all of this sucking and all of this crappiness that we all could come together to have a shared space, a shared moment together. To think that we could all slow down and that I could learn about these people every single day and be with them every single day and just learn more about them fall more in love with them see how smart and brilliant they are it's just so amazing and i don't really know what to say but say thank you and i love you and thank you for being such a positive influence of my whole year and it's become so important to you all have become so important to me. And so to stop myself from rambling on even more as I tend to do with these things, there is one more person that I need to at least acknowledge who has made me so happy this year, and that is my friend Jaden. And I've talked about him at least two different times, I believe, in two different influences of my year, but he continues to be probably my best online friend probably best friend in general because he has just been keeping me happy for so long and we've known each other for so long now and it's just been an amazing experience just to see how much he's grown and just to experience things with him because at the beginning of this year when this pandemic was just happening we started talking even more than we used to. We started having long conversations into the night. We watched movies and shared emotions and shared our favorite things that we love. I share with him all the old movies 
that I enjoyed when I was younger and want to experience that with somebody. And he is showing me all of these beautiful and magnificent movies because he is a filmmaker and he is so inspiring to watch and learn. And Jaden, I just can't thank you enough. And that's probably all I really do with this series is just say thank you and I love you to all of these people. Because all of these influences, no matter how big or small, if I talk to you for one day, one minute, and you make me happy, the people who I'm just now starting to learn and understand, and to the people who have just been with me practically just about every day and regularly and we just having conversations about anything and everything. I just can't thank you enough and how much I love you. So pretty much everything is online and I feel like I've been a whole lot busier than I have in so many other years. And it's just been such a fun experience just watching streams, watching creators, joining chats and discords and talking with people online and friends and chatting for hours, watching shows, watching movies, uh, wa taking in media, reading stories, experiencing that with other people is what I've always craved for. And it's sad that it has to come down to the world shutting down for that to happen, but I could not be more grateful to have that and in this moment and when everything was crazy and chaotic that we could come together and just have our shared space. I could talk with friends and meet people new who will just become even better and greater friends later on. And sometimes it's just been a fleeting interaction through Among Us where we just killed and died and we just shared a laugh. But all of it has meant so much. It's sad that it had to come down to everything else shutting down, but I'm grateful for the amazing content that has come out of it. And throughout all of this crazy year, throughout this crazy video, I'm just glad to have those few moments. And so with all of that said, I really don't know what 2021 is gonna be like. Hopefully, just hopefully a whole lot better. And I just can't wait to just experience more with the friends that I have grown with and loved throughout this year. Thank you all for being such amazing influences in my life and my year of 2020. And hopefully I will see all of you and grow more with you in 2021. And thank you all for watching this channel is very small and maybe I'll change up in the new year. I kind of have some plans that I might want to do to maybe grow an audience, to grow a different atmosphere because the world is crazy and I might as well change if I want something new to happen, something different. And maybe be a little more determined, but I really do love the things that I do stuff that I put out and people that I've met. Follow me on my social media. My link is in the description. And as always, may grace be in your space.